Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and we are helping good old Pooh Bear get some honey, because, well, Pooh's hungry. He loves that honey, you know? Anyway, folks, this mini game here is called Pooh's Honey Hunt, and our goal is to keep the bees away from Pooh as he snacks on their honey. You know, it kind of makes us, uh, well, um, wrong, you know, the bad guys in this case, in a way, because we are stealing honey from all well, the bees, you see. And it's their honey, you know. But Pooh has to crave that honey, so we've got to help him, you see. Now, the goal is, um, well, Pooh is actually floating in the air with his balloon, and we have to prevent the bees from popping said balloon to, uh, well, um, you know, keep Pooh safe, you see. We do that by just locking onto the bees and, well, hitting the bee swarm, and that's it. That's pretty much what it is, folks. Of course, we have to hop along the tree branches to uh, keep up with Pooh as he uh, moves from um, hole to hole to get some of that honey, because um, more honey is, um, well, there's more honey as you climb upward, you see. But as you can see, the jumping controls are a bit awkward, you see. And, uh, yeah, when the reaction command, uh, well, uh, appears to allow you to catch up to Pooh, try and take it as much as you can, because it will help you in the long run, you see. Now, if you notice, folks, um, any, anytime you hit a bee, you actually get five, uh, I'm guessing, honey points, I'm guessing? Uh, that, that's what I'm assuming, folks. That's what I'm assuming. Um, so, yeah, it'll be also to your benefit to smack the bees so that you can get some uh, honey points. So, um, yeah. Of course, I'm doing terrible on this because, ugh, again, the jumping controls are a bit awkward. Folks, I would recommend getting rid of the high jump for this one because... Uh, ugh. Jeez Louise, the platforming controls suck. Yeah, this is me actually getting rid of the high jump because, um, ugh. I mean, it's kind of, you can overshoot the branches and land to the ground as you've just seen here, so, ugh. <sighs> anyway, the goal of these mini games is to get to a specific, uh, well, the minimum required to actually advance and uh, plot and get your reward, you see. Now, um, there is a high score that you need to beat in order to get a specific uh, move for good old Sora. And that's what I'll be trying to do. Well, well if I fail to do, I'll do that one more than likely off screen. Um, um, the thing is, though, folks, um, some games, uh, if you do manage to quote unquote beat the high score, well, the preset game high score, you get an extra cutscene. And I will show uh, that off, you see. Yeah. So yeah, folks, um, hitting bees with your keyblade, fun, exciting, and yeah, definitely reminds me of a good old Winnie the Pooh and the honey tree, you see, only instead of that whole uh, scheme with, uh, you know, tut tut, it looks like rain and all that sort of thing, we get to hit bees with a keyblade because, well, Christopher Robin doesn't have a keyblade or something, Sora does. So yeah, that's it for this game. Oh, that was yummy in my tummy, but there is room for a bit more. That cutscene means that, well, we've successfully completed the minigame, but we have not gotten the, well, high score, or beaten the high score, you see. So, I'm going to do that right now, you see. And the best way is to make sure you get Pooh to the very top and protect him from the bees as he smacks away at that honey, you see. Although that title's a bit, uh, well, misleading because I think this scene plays if Poop reaches the top and, uh, well, eats away, you see. Um, I'm guessing that even though you do get the high score, I think you, uh, get the previous scene regardless. But, uh, anyway, here's a new cutscene. It is rather funny. What I will do for honey. <laughs> oh, Pooh, you really do love that honey, don't you? Anyway, folks, in order to beat the high score, you need to get over 100 plus points, uh, and um, it's not that hard once you figure out what to do exactly. It's just going to take some time and patience, folks. And you can redo this mini game over and over as many times as you need in order to actually get the high score. Now, folks, when you successfully complete a minigame, um, what happens is that the torn page that you've uh, restored gets turned into an item. And in this case, we get uh, Nature Speak. 
And uh, it's another summon gem, which we will unlock once I finish the 100 acre wood. Anyway, folks, um, we're just doing some exploration right here, make, looking around, getting some items, having a little chat with good old Pooh Bear because, um, yeah. But um, the thing is, though, um, as you get a torn page, um, new sections of the book will appear. And again, like I said, they appear one at a time. And it does not matter if, um, like, if you get a page from, like, Atlantica first or from Halloween Town first. The pages will reveal themselves in the exact same order. So, yeah, I'm guessing it doesn't really matter in what order you get the torn pages. That is, if you're just going for the at one at a time, you see, and coming back to the book over and over and over again, which can get a little bit uh, repetitive and boring. So it'd be a good idea just to get all the books at once so that, well, you can actually um, <laughs> move on, you see. Anyway, folks, this is the location of the second torn page. And uh, it's actually another familiar location. Folks, this is Rabbit's House and Rabbit's Garden. Yep, a torn page is dedicated to good old Rabbit himself. Ah, Rabbit. Yeah, I feel sorry for that guy. I mean, Pooh always comes to his house to, well, take his honey. And, and when the Pooh in the honey tree, he, he, he gets stuck in that hole, you see. Because, um... <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's just say that history is about to repeat itself here, folks. I'm just going to say it right now. And that's going to be the subject of our next mini game. So let's go on in and go to talk to Rabbit because, well, we need to advance the mini game thing. Or you can look around and see if you can find items and whatnot around here. I mean, you can do that, right? Or you can be a real. <laughs> you can be a real. Ba <laughs> you can be a real troll or meaning to rabbit and destroy his crop, you see, because, um. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh boy. Hi, rabbit. How's it going? <sighs> Again, you gotta feel sorry for the poor guy, because Pooh just comes in uninvited, takes his honey, and leaves. Although, this is me uh, watching it from an, an adult mind. I mean, when I was younger, it, I mean, it, I thought it was pretty funny, at least for the time. But, you know, you tend to view things from a different perspective uh, when you grow up, you see. And, in a way, it kind of bites. But, that's the part of life, you see. It's, um, well, life. So, yeah, folks, um, our goal here is to, well, find honey in Rabbit's house. And, um, of course, Rabbit is lying that he has no honey because, well, he doesn't want Pooh to stick around. But, unfortunately, Sora's going to ruin this because, oh, there's some honey right there. <sighs> so, yeah, we got to get that honey to Pooh because, um... And Rabbit just says, uh, you can have the honey, Pooh, because, well, he's too dogged nice. I mean, <clears throat> he gives in so easily, it's just, uh... There he is, gobbling all that honey. He just had to crave that honey. Uh, gobbling and gobbling away. Will he ever stop? Uh, anyway, we're just going to leave uh, them to essentially, <laughs> well, do their thing. I mean, Pooh's eating honey, Rabbit's being a worry ward, and Piglet's um, just watching, I guess. And, uh, so yeah. Alright, yeah, people are still missing from the 100 Acre Woods, so, um, there's something we can do right here, right now. We just have to actually leave Rabbit's house in order to advance the quote-unquote plot, I'm guessing. Yeah. So let's head on out, and we will be reintroduced to another, uh, good old, uh, oh, hello. Yeah, uh, yeah, folks, um... Piglet will come running in and let us know that Pooh is actually stuck in, well, Rabbit's Hole. Yep, uh, here we go again. You know, maybe uh, one good whack of the Keyblade could uh, get Pooh free, but um, Rabbit has another idea. So, um, what do we do, folks? What do we do? Well, um, we, first of all, we have to actually leave Rabbit's house in order to trigger something. All right, there we go. So let's go around, have a little chat with Pooh, and 
Come on. There we go. Oh, I get honey. Uh, oh, no, you still, you're still on about honey, even though you're stuck? Oh, boy. Okay. You know, Rabbit's panicking about uh, getting that rabbit hole open, but he has a front door. I don't get it, really. Uh, uh. So anyway, folks, the key to freeing Pooh this time around is using carrot juice instead of just pushing him out. I'm guessing carrot juice can, uh, well, get him unstuck or something. But, folks, it's time to get reintroduced to another good old Winnie the Pooh character. <laughs> hey there! Name's Tigger! T I double G er! That spells Tigger! Well, now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? My bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tigger's do best. Speaking of which... My bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> ah, Tigger. He's being a real jerk. Because his bounty spot is currently missing in action, it's one of the torn pages, by the way, he has to come here to Rabbit's home in order to bounce around because he needs to bounce. He's a Tigger, you know, the one... The wonderful thing about Tiggers is uh, th that Tiggers are wonderful things. Their heads are made of rubber and their tails are made of springs. They bouncy, 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 bouncy. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is that he's the only one, you know? <laughs> ah. Anyway, folks, um, him bouncing around is a real threat to, well, Rabbit's plan to get Pooh out of there using carrot juice. And guess what this mini game is right here? The game is called Block Tigger. Tigger will bounce around on these uh, carrots r around here, and we have to protect the carrots, you see. And, um, the thing is, you have two chances to try and save a carrot. After Tigger stomps on a carrot twice, it's pretty much useless, gone for good, because carrot is underground, and, yeah. So, uh, yeah, here's good old Al explaining the rules in the situation again, and giving us a hint on how to successfully complete the minigame which is to use the good old rush command. And using commands in this, uh, well, in this setting, in, the, in this mini game here, it's much easier because, if I remember correctly, the vanilla edition, the original PS2 version of Kingdom Hearts, the rush button would be on the fourth slot, you know, where Summon is uh, right now. I just love how they've added the reaction commands to this game. It makes things a whole lot easier. So yeah, we have one minute to uh, go to Tigger and block his attempts to, uh, well, essentially destroy the carrots because they are the key to getting Pooh out of there. And why would uh, Tigger be doing this? Well, a Tigger loves to bounce, you see, and he needs to bounce. And, you know, as much as I like Tigger and all that sort of thing, he needs to learn some self-control or something, you know, um... You know, uh, have some restraint or at least some respect for certain people's property. But, you know, well, considering that Pooh usually comes over to Rabbit's house to get his honey, I, uh, yeah. So, yeah, folks, this is it right here. And, uh, try and save as many carrots as you can and try to block as many, uh, try to do amount, do some blocking as best you can because, um, your score is determined by how many blocks you've successfully executed and how many carrots you save at the end. Those, uh, they'll be multiplied together to into your final score, and yeah. So, you've seen here, I've blocked Tigger about nine times. See, nine times. And I, I've i saved 11 carrots, and multiply them together, 99. And that's the score I need to actually complete the game. Hey, you kept up pretty good there, Sora. Especially for a non-Tigger. Let's have another go. <laughs> So, hooray, we have saved enough carrots in order for a Rabbit here to make his carrot juice to get Pooh free. Um, so, yeah, 
you might be thinking, why didn't Rabbit do this in uh, the Winnie the Pooh movie? Well, to be fair, folks, it, it never came up in that Winnie the Pooh movie. Besides, he had to wait days and days and days in order for Pooh to budge, in order for everyone to push and pull him out because, um, you know, Pooh was actually losing weight while stuck in Rabbit's hole. But we, And we want to get things moving along, you see, because, um, yeah, video game and stuff. Um, uh, yeah. Again, folks, uh, people... I, I think people do not like this minigame because of its uh, pace-breaking action, but at the same time, you just, um, you kind of you have to relax, you see, you know, get away from all the stress of being up heartless and saving all the world, you know? Oh, oh bother. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well, it isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> There is plenty of honey! <laughs> you know, it would have been interesting to have Pooh actually fly out and land inside the honey tree because <laughs> that's what actually happened the last time. But then, of course, there's that whole um, extra force of Christopher Robin and company pulling from one end and Rabbit pushing from the other, so yeah. And here's what happens when you uh, beat the high score, which is uh, over 150. So, yeah, so I blocked 14, 15, and I got 210, and yeah. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Nobody keeps up with Tiggers. Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with my tail. Uh, <laughs> Tigger, you have not met someone who knows the power of trial and error. Plus, he has a giant key in which he can save the universe with. And why am I being a jerk to Rabbit, even though I just saved his carrots? Well... Uh... I think sometimes you can find items among the garden. I think. I'm just, uh... Well, nothing's popping up, and I'm just ruining Rabbit's garden because... Yeah, I'm no better than Tigger in this case. <laughs> we got a letter here, and let's read it. Oh, Tigger. Uh, I guess you'll never learn or something. Anyway, folks, for successfully completing this minigame, we get a Mithril Shard for, well, synthesis purposes. But don't worry, folks, we get better items as we advance through, well, this plot, quote-unquote. So, yeah, folks, uh, we got um, some more minigames to complete next time. And um, don't worry, nope, the rewards will be worth it. So yeah, it would it would it would it would be a, a good idea to actually come here to well you know raid this place you know we get rewarded for doing good deeds you see especially here you know all right and why would Rabbit have clothes here he doesn't wear clothes ah, and the bridge is still broken thanks to good old Tigger and folks I'll see you next time when we do more mini games um see ya.